Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Flixoid app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an amazing app for watching movies and TV shows online and totally for free. I just had to browse my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact movies available in that app. But in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurry. And now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Flixoid app to your device. And first of all, you need to get an app code and loader. You can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device. And now here in the search bar, we'll need to start entering the name of the app, which is once again the loader. So let's enter it. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on the loader. And there is the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So in order to actually stop the loader, you go to settings. So click on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to my Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have pop out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. From here, all you have to do is locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. You open it, and there is the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. So let's say we'll connect to Australia right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So go straight to a list of apps on your Fire Stick, open up the loader and wait until the app loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, click on home. And finally, in the search bar, we have to enter the code, which is going to be 529057. So once again, it's 529057. That's the code you have to enter. So after that, just click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now as you can see the download is starting. Usually it doesn't take long. 
but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case I got a pretty fast connection so that shouldn't take too long. Then you click install and wait until FlixTide is installed on your Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you're using of course. And after it's installed, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you will be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. That way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device, and that's really important. And now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, open it, and there's the Flixoid, which we just installed. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Flixoid app is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.